we've used uh, variable rate seeding through uh, Pioneer's Field 360. I use uh, previous uh, yield maps and combine those yield maps with um, Pioneer. They've got a corn index rating, so basically that's numbers all over your field, and it's kind of based off the productivity of the, of the soil. Um, not necessarily soil type or anything, but uh, that kind of combines with the yield data to give us one one map of uh, how we're going to change these populations across the field. I've used that instead of soil types. We've got so many different soil types in the field and the different elevations and stuff, and I just think these the yield maps are, are uh, working better doing it that way. To get those maps, we send in our, our planting data, send that to Pioneer, and then when we harvest, we send them the data too, and they overlay that data so they know if we had a split planter, um, one variety on one side, one variety on the other. Not just, you know, one strip through the field, you're gonna take a wagon and check it. This is basically checking it all the way across the field because it knows where what is planted. And so on this map, it'll show one variety yielded this, the other variety you had yielded this. And that's pretty much a comparison side by side across the whole field. I can do the same thing with my starter fertilizer um, with RTK. I plant 24 rows, skip a pass, plant 24 and just do that through the whole field and shut my fertilizer off and come back and plant in between those 24 rows. And that gives, him, gives me a map just like the two variety maps here. And so I can see all the way across the field, you know, is this starter paying or is it not? Um, one of the farms we did it on last year, it's not our best uh, soil, but we were about seven, seven bushel better uh, with the starter. But this, I think this gives you a lot better idea than just going out there and doing two or three here. We have the, the whole field is pretty much like a plot. So 